use a self-tapping triangle screw to fix the puller into the machine. It has two fixed screws. Uh, you need to choose the suitable one. Puller lead just behind the needle bar. You can move the puller to left or right hand to do the adjustment. Then fix the screw. Move the puller to the front and to the back side. But then try to lift up the puller. That but the puller cannot touch the machine. When the, the puller is not flat, you can loose this screw and uh, to do some adjustment. When the puller left side and the right side is not the same position, adjust here. When the puller cannot touch the sewing plate, Loose this screw and press down the puller. Adjustment the synchronizer of the machine and the puller. Turning the hand wheel of the machine. Eyes look at the feed dog. When the feed dog a little bit coming up, then the needle plate t stop it, turning the hand wheel of the machine, turning the hand wheel of the puller. Another hand is to touch the puller. When you feel puller just start to move it, move, um, stop it. Connect the Hand wheel of the machine and the hand wheel of the puller by the belt. Then loose the screw of the of the gearbox, gearbox. and uh, adjustment the position of gearbox. Let the belt cannot be too loose or cannot be too tight. Then fix the screw. The four cables. The first is power cable. The single phase cable. Second one is the puller cable. The three pin is for synchronizer. The two pin is for puller puller lifter. Pull a lifter. Here is the switch for the reverse sewing. When the reverse sewing, you see, it connects to the reverse sewing bar. So the puller will uh, reverse toning. Here is the foot lifter bar. Put the lifter switch.
Okay, uh, the last the third cable, this cable is for auto reverse sewing synchronizer. When in the machine has the auto reverse sewing synchronizer, you put uh, this cable on. This cable is for auto foot lifter synchronizer. If you don't have, you 